Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Korlick with Figure It Out Productions. The following video is part of our quick shoot series. Hey guys, it's Adam here, and as I'm sure a lot of you know, I recently took a trip to Seattle, Washington for PAX Prime 2015. Uh, now, I went last year in 2014, and when I got back, I talked about a, a game store I went to, and I got a comment from a guy named Duffy saying, like, hey, you know, uh, if you're out here next year, I'd love to go game hunting with you. So I was like, all right. And then I completely forgot about that, to be honest. And then I made a video earlier this year saying, like, oh, I'm going to PAX Prime. And then Duffy contacted me, there he is, uh, and said, like, all right, let's get together and do some game hunting. And I was like, all right, because I had uh, all of Sunday off. Um, I had tickets to the convention, but, like, I had done all my, you know, fulfilled obligations and everything. So I decided it might be kind of fun to go around uh, and go game hunting in Seattle, because Seattle has, like, the best retro gaming scene. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. So we went to a bunch of them, so I got to do videos on them. Now, one chain that exists out there is a place called Another Castle Video Games. Uh, I don't remember exactly which one this is, because uh, there's multiple ones. I ended up going to two of them. There might be three. So let me just do... We'll just talk about the tour here first. Uh, inside, of course, you can see, like... A ton of plushies and all sorts of... Uh, they have a lot of bargain bin games. There's a lot of great stuff available for the original Xbox in there, which made me really happy. Uh, you got to remember that uh, Microsoft is uh, based in Seattle, as is Nintendo, actually. Uh, at least their North American branches. Well, Microsoft as an entire corporation is there. So a lot of uh, stuff kind of flows into these stores, so they'll end up with a lot of good inventory. Uh, so you got a, a lot of more, the, you know, the sealed stuff, the rarer stuff that's in, behind the case there. Uh, that sign is cool, that glittery one. Uh, <laughs> I was at a different store, and they were telling me that sign's, like, super rare, and people try to come in and get it all the time. Uh, inside of this one, they also had a bunch of arcade cabinets, as you can see. Uh, a lot of strategy guides and so on. Of course, they had your Xbox One and your uh, PS4 games, you know, to keep all the most recent titles, which, you know, I guess I could have looked for, but that's not ultimately what I did. Nice Gears of War 2 standee right there. Uh, uh, by the way, I should mention that I will be going over pickups at the end of this video. Uh, so, of course, PlayStation Vita and uh, PlayStation uh, Portable there, a lot of uh, DS as well. Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of really cool stuff. Um, but uh, more 3DS over here on this side. You know, guys, I, I personally don't pick up much in the way of handhelds. Uh, they also had a bunch of Blu-rays and DVDs, which I guess is good to note. But like, you know, that, that I wasn't looking for that at all. Uh, so cool to see some of those random pinball and arcade machines. Because you always wonder, like, <laughs> who 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 decided we needed a Terminator arcade machine, but or a pinball machine? But we got it. Uh, there's, of course, a lot of GameCube stuff, uh, a lot of Wii stuff. Uh, I was I focused a little bit on the GameCube, just trying to see if I could find anything. There's a Wii U se selection there, of course. Um, yeah, a lot of the Wii U stuff is the, the same old stuff. I mean, that's just because it doesn't get a whole lot of games, I guess. But uh, PlayStation 2, giant PlayStation 2 selection, um, which is, you know, it's always nice to see that. Uh that's cool. It's uh, Also, I should note that they did a pretty good job of keeping stuff in alphabetical order, which people underestimate, like, how difficult that is in a used game store. I mean, because, you know, people come in, they just grab stuff, and then they move it, and they just move stuff around looking for other stuff, and this stuff, I noticed they did a pretty good job <laughs> of keeping it in order. Same here with the original Xbox, which you can see, very nice selection. I, I love the original Xbox. It's one of my uh, favorite game consoles. I don't know if I'd either rank it at number four or five. It kind of suddenly switches between that and the Xbox 360. So I, I spent a lot of time looking at that stuff, needless to say. A little bit of a 70s section here with Atari 2600, uh, Atari 5200, 7800, uh, ColecoVision, Intellivision, uh, all sorts of stuff. A lot of Some of the stuff is boxed still. Uh, over here, you know, just walls full of controllers and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, they had, you know, other various, uh, Genesis games here, or Mega Drive if you're in the UK. A lot of boxed ones, uh, some 32X stuff in there, Sega Master System, uh, NES carts, both in-boxed and, uh, loose, and again, just more original Xbox here. I don't know why I did that. Uh, a lot of, uh, PS1 here, both long box and the regular version, as well as, uh, some Dreamcast stuff. 
uh, Sega CD stuff, some Sega Saturn stuff. A lot of the uh, more sought-after PlayStation 1 games were available. Uh, that's a common practice in used stores, is they'll put out like the ones they know everyone wants, like very visibly. And then the the stuff, you, you know, the, the, the lesser-known stuff gets kind of buried intentionally for people like me who want to hunt for it. Uh, look at that. Earthbound. Loose cart. Um, and they got uh, some other, a lot of SNES stuff here. Most of it loose, but some boxed. N64, same deal. Uh, a lot of memory cards and things like that. Various uh, handhelds and consoles, uh, mostly loose, of course. Uh, they had a Japanese silver GameCube and a regular silver GameCube. Well, I should, when I mean regular, I mean North American. Uh, some Amiibos back there. And then some cool, just like, you know, random stuff from around. You know, like this random video game merch. That's, again, Duffy there. And then that's uh, Emmanuel. He was the guy who was uh, running that particular store. I don't know if, I don't remember if he was the manager or or if he was just the employee exactly, but uh, this is all, also they had a giant Xbox 360 section as well, which was really very cool. And uh, just, again, thank you to Emmanuel for letting me shoot in there. That was really, really nice of him. Then we headed out to the uh, second location of another castle, um, which uh, I don't... Sorry, guys, I'm not really that familiar with the geography of the area. This one you'll notice because it has a giant, what they called a barcade on the outside. Uh, I went here a few years ago and it wasn't this big. Uh, they basically expanded out and turned that whole area into like a, an arcade that, you know, has a bar. <laughs> but anyway, go inside and, uh, and of course you see a ton of original Xbox games and, uh, you know, uh, of course a lot of different cartridges for various handhelds here, promotional materials. Uh, they had just got, at this time, Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain, so they were kind of like, you know, going through the copies of it. Um, a lot of NES and SNES there. Uh, some Super Famicom as well, you might have noticed. Uh, boxed N64, of course. And uh, back there you see, of course, newer stuff like PlayStation 4 controllers and Skylanders and Xbox One, PS4 content, some Wii U stuff. Lots of guides and things right here. Uh, there's uh, just random stuff like Guitar Hero controllers there. Uh, big Xbox 360 section right here in the middle very nice and uh, yeah they had all sorts of xbox one stuff there as well again back there more of the new stuff including amiibos and 360 controllers you know that kind of good stuff a lot of uh, well not a lot but there was some sega cd stuff there sega saturn stuff both uh north american and japanese ps1 long box and regular a couple of imports as well some of the rarer stuff too uh, lots of, uh, you know, just obviously a lot of accessories on back there on the wall. And in in here you got a lot more uh, box Genesis, uh, as well as, you know, some loose cards and some 32X stuff. Some rare stuff as well, uh, and uh, a lot of Dreamcast down here. They seem to kind of mix the imports with the domestic stuff, which is kind of weird, but it's not bad. Um, Genesis again, a little Neo Geo love there, which is kind of rare. Um, a lot of retro stuff like uh, Atari stuff and Master System stuff, 5200, 2600, 7800, uh, Intellivision, ColecoVision. Uh, I even see some... Uh, uh, <laughs> There's some Neo Geo Pocket there, TurboGrafx-16, Game Gear. Uh, they have a PS2 set up there, obviously. Uh, what, uh, an Odyssey, Odyssey 2000. They, they, had, they had one back there. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't Odyssey 2000, it was just Odyssey. See that N64 sign up there? I swear all the game stores in Seattle have that. <laughs> uh, a lot of sealed stuff from uh, retro sealed stuff. So de depending on how you define retro, but there's like original Xbox, there's Wii, there's a uh, PS3. Believe it or not, technically that stuff is retro now. Um, of course, more PS3 and PS Vita, uh, PSP as well. Basically organizing all the PlayStation stuff except for PS1. Uh, PS4 right there as well. So, nice big section full of that. Uh, and there's Duffy once again. And uh, there's some arcades happening here. On the right here, you can see a little bit of a clearance bin. It was kind of like a mixture of uh, DVDs with, like, sports games. Um, we got Wii U games here. We got a giant wall of original Wii games, uh, which I didn't have much interest in. They also, of course, sell T-shirts and hats and stuff that kind of promote their store. Uh, 3DS and DS and, uh, you know, some other random things. There's a lot of GameCube here, which is nice to see. I don't get to see GameCube stuff that often. Uh, usually stores don't have a particularly impressive selection. Here they had, like, collector's editions and that kind of good stuff all behind, you know, the glass. 
also just random you know figures and Star Wars merch you know that a lot of cool stuff uh, various consoles uh, as you can see some rare ones and then some just like common ones uh, then the giant section of uh, PlayStation 2 right here uh, they had you might have noticed they had like multicolored N64s and they had the Pikachu N64 I don't know, maybe it's just me. I never really got into the N64 variants, but you know, I don't knock anyone that does because I get into variants for obviously other consoles. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Lots of uh, PlayStation 2 and uh, some recommended games by the staff. And uh, back here, this is this is an arcade. This is not the barcade. Uh, you might have noticed there's like a metal grate to this. Yeah, but in the center there, uh, that opens up and goes into a further area with you know an arcade and a bar. But uh, here is uh, just various arcade games. At least I assume there's more games back there. I didn't actually get to go, so maybe it's just a bar, but maybe they mix it with this. I don't really know. But they had a lot of cool games there, including my favorite of all time right here, the, uh, the Simpsons arcade game. This was like, when I was a kid, that was like the one game that I really, really wanted them to put onto a console that they never did. Although eventually they did do like a digital 360 and possibly PS3 version of that, but uh, whatever. Uh, that in Jurassic Park, uh, Lost World Jurassic Park was a really good arcade game. There's a couple of really good ones in there. If you go back through and uh, take a look at that, I didn't have a chance to comment on all of them. But uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff in there, including an original Pong machine. So that was another castle, or at least two of them. I'm pretty sure there's three of them. I think that's what they said. However, we didn't end up going to the third one, uh, just for time constraints. Uh, so let me go ahead, first of all, actually, let me say thank you to Matt. He was the guy running the second store, and he gave me permission to film there, so thank you to Matt. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the pickups I got. The stuff on the left here was from the first store, the stuff on the right was from the second store, and as you can probably tell just by looking at it, it's predominantly original Xbox. In fact, this item here is the only one that isn't original Xbox, so sorry if you don't like the original Xbox, but the thing is, it's super cheap. <laughs> Not only is it, so here's the thing. Like I mentioned before, Microsoft is based in Seattle, so a lot of their stuff flows through these stores, and it was cheap even by original Xbox standards. And uh, there was a lot of stuff I also, for the original Xbox, I simply never see. So not only to see it, but also to see it for very little was quite nice, and it was very difficult to avoid. <laughs> so let's just take a look at the stuff I got. Uh, we'll kind of power through it. Uh, Conflict, Desert Storm. Ghost Recon 2, uh, Street Racing Syndicate, Tie 2, the Tasmanian, or Tie the Tasmanian Tiger 2, Bush Rescue, Prince of Persia, the Two Thrones, Robocop, and Robots. Um, yeah, it was all very cheap, and uh, it was, the cool thing was it, it got even cheaper when I got to the register because he was telling me like, hey, you know, if you sign up for our like our newsletter thing, then you get 10% off, and I was like, you know, like, I, I, he, like, he had already, he and I had already been talking, Emmanuel, uh, he, and so he knew that I wasn't from there, that I was from Chicago, and he was just, so I was like, there's not really any point, and he was just like, yeah, but do it just to get 10% off, dude, and I was like, all right, <laughs> so there you go, um, and that deal carried over, I went over to the other, uh, another other castle, the other another castle, that is hard to say, um, and I, say, I asked him the same thing, like, yeah, you know, Emmanuel's telling me there was a 10% off, he signed for newsletter, he's like, yep, absolutely. And I was like, does it matter that I signed up for the other one? No, it doesn't matter. There you go. <laughs> so these are the pickups I ended up getting at the other Another Castle. Um, Ghost Recon, Island Thunder, State of Emergency, which I actually have a little bit of a story about. I bought this when it came out for the PlayStation 2, like, day of. Uh, and the reason for that was this was Rockstar's like first game after GTA 3 had hit, so everyone was just expecting this to be amazing. It wasn't. It really wasn't. It was one of the few games I've ever actually sold back, because <laughs> I really didn't like it. So I'm sure you're like, you are a moron, why would you go out and buy it? Because it was like a fucking dollar, that's why, and the Xbox version is better anyway. It's a fucking dollar, I don't care. It's, <laughs> I never see this anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Um, Super Bubble Pop, I'd never even heard of this one, but whatever. Uh, Hunter the Reckoning Redeemer. And so that's all the original Xbox stuff I ended up getting, which is a nice pile, again, super cheap. But then there was one item that actually cost some money, uh, and I was astonished to see it. 
This is a, an NES cartridge, all right? Let's, let's build up a little anticipation here. Let's see who can guess this and how quickly. This is an NES cartridge that is extremely uncommon. Um, it is, for, I mean, there's a lot of uh, NES games that are extremely uncommon and super expensive. This one is not super expensive, but it is very hard to find. I keep an, I've been looking for it for years. Like, literally, just to see it. Not even necessarily to buy it. Like, I've never seen it in person. Ever. Uh, at least not in a store. Uh, even behind those, like, behind the glass cases where, you know, all the super rare stuff might be, I have never seen it. And there it was, just sitting there. Now, I'm sure when I show this to you, you're going to be like, what are you talking about? But hear me out. Tetris. I'm sure you're thinking, oh, you're fucking with me. Tetris is a super common game. Everybody knows that. Yeah, Tetris in general is a super common game. This, however, is the 10 gen version. Now, 10 gen cartridges, of course, for the NES are these infamous black ones that just show up in the library. There's a great video all about these cartridges by the gaming historian. Uh, I'll link it there. Check it out. He goes into elaborate detail about how these games got made. But even he mentions that Tetris is a super rare one. And the reason for that is that this version of Tetris was obviously not made by Nintendo, but they had a deal with Tetris, I guess. I don't know all the details of this story. But what I do know is that uh, Nintendo got really pissed off about this particular game and had it pulled and recalled. It was not on the market very long. As a result, it's very, very hard to find. Not always the most expensive game, not even close in some cases, but it's very, very uncommon. Um, so Nintendo ended up releasing their own version of Tetris that's the, the common gray cart that I'm sure you've seen a thousand times. They're not actually the same game. In a lot of cases, the gray cart and the black cart were the same game. Not in the case of Tetris. This was a completely different game. This is supposed to be like an arcade perfect version, and this version supposedly sucks ass. Um, and having played a little bit of both of them, yeah, this is definitely better. Um, but yeah, this was, this was, it wasn't super cheap, but it also wasn't super expensive. This was about 50 bucks with 10% off, and uh, so considering how impossible this is to find, and I, I definitely see go for more online. Maybe you could get lucky, maybe find it at a flea market or whatever for less, I don't know, but I've, like I said, I've never seen it, so I was pretty happy to pick this up, and uh, so thank you to another castle for even having this in stock, and uh, got it back here and it works perfectly. It is, I swear to you, it is much better than that version of Tetris. So there you go, there's my super awesome pickup from another castle. So there you go guys, uh, please stay tuned. I will be having uh, two more uh, game hunting videos uh, from Duffy and I's like adventure around that day, which little correction, I meant to say Monday. We did that on Monday, not Sunday, but uh, there you go. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later.